I'm going to show you today how you can update your personal details in our members portal and also make sure your communication preferences are set as you'd like them. So we start off at our website archerygb.org and click on the little person icon in the top right. This is going to bring you to our sign in page where you'll be popping in the email address associated with your account and your password and then click sign in. Now if you're like me and you happen to have two-factor authentication on your account, this is the point at which you'll need to pop your code in. So here we go. If you don't have that, then the next thing that should load up is your welcome dashboard. Just to mention while we're here that you will see a number of different um, options in the menu on the left hand side. Um, Please feel free to have a look and explore those. There are a variety of different pieces of information and resources within it, which you might find helpful. But for the purpose of this video, let's come on down and click on Members Portal. As you can see, this is now loading up the main portal and we're in the user dashboard of your own account. And there are two ways that we can access your profile so that we can update the details that are in it. So you can click on the icon here in the top right and click profile or you can click on view profile down over here. And then for me to then go a bit further and be able to update my details, I need to click on the edit profile button within this section of the account. Now, as you can see, a couple of things you can't update on the first page. So if your name hasn't been spelt correctly or needs an amendment, that's something you'll need to ask us to do for you. So please do just get in touch and we'll be able to easily sort that out. But if you click next, it's really important that we have your current postal address uh, as without this, there's all sorts of things we're not going to be able to get out to you, which includes your plastic membership card. So to update that or add it in in the first place, please enter your address, uh, your postcode into this address search bar. So as an example, I will pop an address uh, postcode in now. Then you can select your address from the drop down menu. And that will then bring that up to date for you. Then we'll skip along next. Um, this is your opportunity to add some extra contact details. And if you want to change your email address, here's where you can do it. Now, just be aware that changing your email does change your login email as well. So that's always worth remembering so that you're making sure you use the right email the next time you log in. Moving along to the next page, again, as you can see, a few things that aren't editable uh, by yourself and that if they do need tweaking, you need to get in touch with us about. We have an additional info section here. This is worth knowing about um, because if you're somebody that actually you would rather opt out of having a plastic membership card and just have your e-card instead, this is where you can do it. So you can just toggle between the options there. And then when we click next again, this final section is about your communication preferences. First thing I need to mention is there are certain emails you cannot opt out of. So these are things like your membership renewal emails. But out of the other ones down here, you do have your options and it's up to you what you'd like to choose. We're going to start at the bottom. So first of all, we have our monthly members e-zine that we send out. This e-zine gives you um, news about what's going on in the world of archery. It tells you about events that are coming up, um, tells you about different opportunities that might be available. And this is the one where we also include competitions and giveaways. We then have the Archery UK magazine. So this is about whether you want to receive a physical copy of the magazine or not. If you select no, you'll still have access to a digital copy and you're able to find that through that first welcome dashboard that we saw after logging into the portal. May also be that if there's a few of you living at the same address and you'd rather share one physical copy of the magazine instead of having one each, 
it's just a case of deciding amongst yourselves which of you are going to opt out and which of you will stay opted in. We then have the volunteers e-zine. This is an, an email that's sent twice a year. It tells you about volunteering opportunities and also gives you stories and advice from the world of volunteers. So key thing to be aware of with these is that if the answer to these is yes, you need to make sure that our communications is set to yes as well. If this is set to no, that will override all of these decisions. So really here, what you're saying is, yes, I want to receive communications like the e-zine, the members e-zine and the Physical Archery UK magazine. And then finally, if you have a few accounts that you're looking at, at looking after, so perhaps you're a parent and you also manage your children's accounts, you can also choose here to apply the same preferences to those other accounts. Um, you don't have to do this at all. You can set preferences individually for each account, each account if you want to. It's entirely your choice. But once you're done, click on the save button down here and that will update those changes and save them through here. And as I said before, if you do have a couple of other accounts, you know, one or more accounts you're also managing, you can go and update those details by going to your athlete section. Now, I'm not, not associated with anybody else here, but if you were, you would see all sorts of different rectangles with those different accounts on them. And so you just click on the person that you want to view. And then when they load up, their screen is basically going to look uh, like yours. Not like this one, I should say. It's going to look like this for you. And so you can follow exactly the same process. And then of course, you can just keep switching back to athletes, choosing the next person you want to update until you're finished and done. And as always, if you have any problems, get stuck or have any questions, please do get in touch with us. You can reach us by the telephone on 01952 677 or you can give us, a, um, give us an email to membership at archerygb.org.